Hi guys, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. So I'm coming to you guys with my manicure. Wait, I don't know if this is manicure or pedicure. I have to find out before I put up this video. I know manicure and pedicure is both, but I've never like realized the difference between one or the other. I just know I'm getting my nails done and I usually do both. So I just like I'm getting a manicure and pedicure. And I've actually sat and waited for a job, for a service that I didn't want done. I didn't know the name, so I was like, oh, I'm waiting for a manicure. And just sitting there waiting. And it's not a manicure one. Like, if I want my feet done, and for instance, if that's called pedicure, I'll be like, I'm waiting for a pedicure. But that means hands. So I've sat and waited for a service that I do not want. That I don't want done. So I'm doing a purple color. I'm doing Wicked. I actually saw a fellow YouTuber wearing this color. And I think I should go lighter. Because I was just wearing a dark color. But because my hair is brown. Right now. I'm going to go for a darker color. Even though my roots. On my hair is 1B. My actual hair is a 27. So um. I want to go darker when it comes to my nails. Um, forgot to grab my cotton balls because I'm doing this in a rush. It is now 318 and I don't think I'm going to be able to put a color on. I'm just going to be able to put like a clear or something. So I'm removing the color off my nails with some napkins. So I don't have the time to do a full mani and pedi. So I'm just like taking this and removing the color off my nails. Real fast. Just removing the color real fast. These are just some Kleenex napkins. I'm just using to take off the color. As well as I can. Um, the color I'm taking off is Armed and Ready by Essie. This will be a class for four o'clock. I mean six o'clock. So I'm trying to get this done in half an hour because I still have my makeup to do. And I know it takes me an hour. And I really would like to get my makeup done. So I'm just going to throw on this clear. And no color. And I'm coming home really late. So I know I'm not going to do it when I get home. So making sure to clean that off really well. So I'm going to cut my cuticles as well. So that's when I'm just going to have time to throw in a clear. And I probably can get a middle finger in, like a middle finger design. So it's just my middle finger. The thing with tissue is that it swallows the middle finger remover and it dries really fast versus a cotton ball. So it actually costs you more money to use a napkin rather than a cotton ball. I have the window open behind me. 
Because this nail polish remover and the nail polish really stinks to me. So now that I've gotten my nails three quarters clean, I'm going to go back to clean out the crevices now. But because my start to falling, I'm in a rush. So I'm definitely going to make sure my nails have no nail polish on it though. But I've started falling already. For the simple fact that I need my nails to be perfect. Even if I don't put any color. Uh, as long as they're filed and looking neatly. You know, you want to look presentable at all times. So I'm just filing. You can file to your own liking. I like to file straight down on the edges, as you guys see I'm doing here. And then go to the base of my nail. And I do the same thing on all my nails. And this emery board is really good. Like, anything it catches is going to snag. It's a really good emery board. Um, I purchased it from the 99 cent store in a pack of 10. And in my nails. Like, you can't be disrespectful to me. I'm not going to have that. You know, like, scratching me and shit like that, no. I'm not going to have that. I'm not putting up with that shit. I am not your scratching post. You do not put your hands on me. I don't put my hands on you. And the crazy thing is I'm always hugging her and kissing her. I don't know why she'd feel... Like, I was hugging her and kissing her, and she just scratched me. Like, I was literally kissing her, kissing all over her face and her little feetsies. And I think she's just so cute. Like, my finger is bigger than her feet and her hands. And I find her so adorable. But when she scratches me, that I don't find adorable. You got to know when to cross the line, even with your pet, you know. Your pet's the most faithful to you because even if you don't feed them, they still will come up and curl. You have a bad day, they'll still come and curl up next to you. But that scratching stuff, I'm not doing that. As soon as you come through the door, they can't wait to see you. So I'm going to grab a cotton ball. This is what I'm using. And clean up. I don't need that much, so I need to got two. Being that um, I already started taking off my nail polish, so it's just to clean up the edges now. Clean up the edges. I'm just cleaning out the corners. I want to make sure all my polish is off your hand. And then I'm going to get started on my cuticles because I don't have time. And now it's 327. I'm definitely going to leave at 4 because I have to be in school for 6. And I can't risk being late on the first day. But some teachers are assholes, so you want to save your lateness when you really need it. Like, even if you get there and they're not there at the end of the day, if you and all your classmates are always there before your teacher, you know, you have, like, some type of advantage because y'all yeah, all are there on time, before time. Like, not like, oh, the class starts at 6. I'm talking about, like, 5.40, you're already there. 5.30, you're already there, sitting down, waiting for the teacher to come. When they come in the classroom, you've already been there. And that should be the way the semester ends because at the end of the day, they could leave that job and just be doing it because just for that semester, who knows? 
but you need to be in school and get what you need to get out of the ordeal until you graduate and go to another higher level of school. So that should always be the way it is because you have something to gain there. They already have their education, basically. So I'm going to start my cuticles because I really have to rush. So I just push my cuticles back. I'm sorry, push the corners of my hand back and grab my cuticles and just cut them. Like, I hate when people, when I used to go to the nail salon and they used to cut my actual skin because they don't know what the heck they're doing and they're experimenting on you. Like, all you have to do is actually just push the skin back and you can get all the cuticle. Without even using a cuticle pusher, you can do that. And I do my nails every week. So I definitely make sure to get out all my cuticle. And the thing is very sharp, so you don't have to dig in the like the edge or something like that <clears throat> for freaking real i hate when you in a rush and everything is so sick here it is i'm in a rush and i do my own nails by the way guys i do my own nails my own hair i do it by myself you guys know, you guys watch my channel. I stopped going to the nail salon after I kept getting fungus repeatedly. My nails were getting dark and I was getting fungus and I don't go to the nail salon like that. So I don't want to leave the nail salon like that. So I stopped going because I switched nail salons and the same thing happened again. So I was like, you know what? God is giving me a sign that I need to do my own shit myself because that fungus medicine is not cheap. I bought one for $21 because I needed it. I just needed to get, I needed the fungus medicine. And by the time I realized it was a fungus because the lady was like, oh, what happened was a couple of times I went to the nail salon. It wasn't stinking. So that's why I didn't know it was a fungus. Um... I had went to the nail salon a couple of times and she hadn't wiped off the nail polish fully. And I didn't realize that she didn't wipe. Well, I realized like when she started painting or she was half done with one hand. So, you know, that's like your spa date. That's when you're totally relaxed. That's when I realized that she didn't wipe off the nail polish completely. And... So I was thinking, okay, my nails are just probably stained because weeks of going to the nail person and they're not wiping off my nail polish completely until I came home and I didn't like the job she did and I was so angry. So I came home and wiped it all off, even though I just paid like $40 to get it done. I came home and wiped it all off. Um, my nails had been cut sloppily and then she covered it with nail polish. So... And I had on a really bright color, too. So I came home, and I wiped it all off my nails. And I saw my nail was dark in, like, parts of the nail. It wasn't the entire toenail. It was, like, yellowish looking. So I was like, maybe I can take off all the nail polish. And some of the nail polish wasn't coming off either, just simply because I just had it done. So it had settled and stuff like that already, and it didn't come off. So I was like, okay, no, that's nothing. Until finally when the nail polish came off on its own, like chipped off, I realized my nail was actually really um, yellow underneath and it wasn't nail polish, it was actually fungus. 
and I was so scared. Like super scared because I went to the doctor and I told the doctor about it. And I told him I was gonna try something tropical because I've had surgery on my big toe because I used to suffer from ingrown toenails. Well, it's a condition that could come back anytime. So because of that, I just, um, because of that, I've always been very careful. And I've had, um, you could have ringworm on your feet. Um, and I've had, I forgot the name you call it. So, um, um, athlete's feet, because of that, going to the nail salon, them not using clean products. So, when you go to the nail salon and they do a half ass job washing out the tub and you stick your feet in there, you're making a conscious decision. There is no amount of coloring that you want in your nails. That is going to cost you triple that amount because the money it takes to buy that medicine, most places sell out of the cheap ones. Because it's very, people with bad hygiene get it very commonly. And they get it back to back. Like they never really get it cured. So now I'm using my Essie coat. And it's already 334. So at least I got to put a clear coat on my nails. I didn't think I was going to get the chance to. I'm so happy I got the chance to. At least for one coat. I'm in a rush. I'm trying to. Oh, it's five this time. Oh, have I got the chance to clean up the nails? Mm, just a little bit. Like a mini spa day. I did my hair, I did my nails. I'm super psyched now. I'm forgetting the corners. So I have to put on a clear on my on my fingers. <sighs> Super excited to start on my makeup now. I gotta get my makeup done. So. I have to put on a clear, I'm happy. I'm content with that. Um, my hair is done, so I'm content. Um, I just did it today. So basically, this is how you do a clear mani and petty. I know I it's been a while since I filmed myself doing it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. This is a clear mani and petty. Um, this is the color I'm going to use next week when I get the chance. I'm gonna do my nails on the weekend. 
and this is the color I'm going to use. So stay tuned for that. And this is basically how I do my nails. So I hope you guys enjoy that tutorial. Again, this is Bonnie from Manhattan, New York. Be blessed. I'll be the same. Mm -hmm. Infinity kisses.